This is Chapter 4, Section 5, Direct Variation, Lesson 5, Video 2 of 4 videos, Identifying Direct Variation from Ordered Pairs. The second time I've misspelled the word from. <sighs> Example, tell whether each relationship is a direct variation. Explain. First thing, y is equal to kx represents a direct variation, where k was the constant of variation. That means that k is equal to y divided by x. This is what you want to check for every ordered pair to determine if it is a direct variation or not. If it matches every ordered pair, or if the k is the same from point to point, then it is a direct variation. If it varies at all, it's not. So again, we're going to do y divided by x. So 6 divided by 1 is 6. 18 divided by 3 is 6 and 30 divided by 5 is 6. Because all of these are equal to 6, this is a direct variation, and the equation is y is equal to 6x. So for every x that you plug in, you're going to multiply it by 6 to produce the y. Now for b, again, we're going to find all of the y divided by x's. So negative 2 divided by 2 is equal to negative 1. 0 divided by 4 is equal to 0. Already they don't match, so you can stop and write no. This is not a direct variation. Again, the goal is to check the y divided by x's. It's important that that's what you use. It's the quickest way to determine if a, a t-chart or chart or mapping diagram or a set of ordered pairs is representative of a direct variation. So for the U-try, tell whether each relationship is a direct variation and explain. So you have the two following charts of negative 3, 0, 1, 3, 3, 6, and then negative 2, negative 6, 1, 3, and 4, 12. Again, this is uh, the second video of 4.